Good. <laughs> I think maybe the last time I saw you, yeah. I think you were on stage at the Oscars winning and accepting I was, an Oscar. And I didn't get the jet ski. Sam Rockwell is an American film actor. His full name is Samuel Rockwell, but is better known as Sammy. He was born on November 5, 1968, in Dale City, California, United States, making him 53 years old at the time of this production. He stands at 1.75 meters or 5 feet 9 inches tall. His favorite sport is Scrabble and bowling. His favorite song is Toothpaste Kisses. His favorite colors are white and blue. He loves cooking. Cooking food is a hobby that he enjoys to spend time with himself. He started high school at the San Francisco School of the Arts with Margaret Cho and Aisha Tyler, but received his high school diploma from Urban Pioneers, an Outward Bound Style Alternative School. Rockwell explained, I just wanted to get stoned, flirt with girls, go to parties. The school had a reputation as a place stoners went because it was easy to graduate. The school helped him regain an interest in performing. After appearing in an independent film during his senior year, he moved to New York to pursue an acting career. He later enrolled in the professional actor training program at the William Esper Studio in New York. Sam Rockwell's role in the 2010 legal drama Conviction can be considered one of the most significant works in his career. Directed by Tony Goldwyn, the film also starred Hilary Swank, Minnie Driver, Melissa Leo, Peter Gallagher, and Juliette Lewis. The film was based on the true story of a woman named Betty Ann Waters, a single mother, and her struggles to free her brother, Kenny, who had been wrongfully convicted of murder. Though the film was a commercial failure, it was met with positive reviews. Rockwell also gained a lot of popularity for his role in the 2013 comedy drama film, The Way Way Back. Directed by Nat Faxon and Jim Rash, the film also starred Steve Carell, Tony Collette, Allison Janney, Anna Sophia Robb, and Maya Rudolph. The story revolved around a 14-year-old guy and his relationship with his family. The film was a commercial success and grossed more than four times its budget. It also received positive reviews from critics. In 2022, he is set to return to the Broadway stage in a revival of David Mamet's American Buffalo, alongside Lawrence Fishburne and Darren Criss. To the shortest speech, I think you yes. did the right thing, though. You gave a funny speech, as I recall. Yeah, uh, thanks, thanks. I did, yeah, I did uh, a little shout out to my dad and right. my mom and stuff, yeah. <laughs> Rockwell was the only child of actors Pete Rockwell and Penny Hess. After their divorce when he was five, he was raised by his father in San Francisco and spent his summers with his mother in New York. At age 10, he made a brief stage appearance playing Humphrey Bogart in an East Village improv comedy sketch with his mother. Rockwell has never been married and stated in 2007 interview, I definitely don't want to become a parent. It's not my bag. Rockwell has been in a relationship with actress Leslie Bibb since 2007, when they reportedly met in Los Angeles as he was filming Frost Nixon. They both appeared in Iron Man 2 and Don Verdeen. Pictures with it. Yes, stuff you like have that. to. Yes, you, you should carry you it around. You should, right? Yeah. It makes people happy to see it. That's right, that's yeah. right. So I carried it around and then we went to uh, Madonna's party. Rockwell has been making millions for his acting in movies. While his salary is not revealed for any roles, he comfortably makes one to two million dollars for his appearances in movies. His net worth is estimated to be 30 million dollars. He has lived in Dale City, San Francisco, New York, but has been recently reported to have moved to Australia with his wife. But his residence and houses are unknown. In his garage, you're likely to find an Audi R8, a Cadillac Escalade, and a Mercedes-Benz S-Class.